I called the nuclear power plant and basically asked them whether or not I could do a tour and they eventually asked me, like, who are you? Where do you come from? And I was like, I'm just really interested in seeing the plant. We pretty much got a no. So what I did was work with a couple of friends uh, to put together a fancy sounding name and a fancy sounding organization uh, and we tried again and we got in. We weren't sure whether or not it was going to work at all. Uh, you know, I wasn't even sure whether or not they would take one look at the site and say, well, that's not a real organization because really at that time it really wasn't. We were sort of like, well, we kind of pulled off this weird trick. How many other places could we get into if we started doing this? Hey, are you Dave? Hi, Tim. Welcome to Sutro Tower. Hey, thanks for having us. Glad to show you around. Thanks. I'm fascinated by Sutro Tower because it looks so out of place. There's these beautiful rolling hills and this fog, and then there's just this like enormous protruding antenna in the middle of the city. Here we go. Infrastructure is something that your tax dollars go to pay for quite often. But if you just walked up as an average citizen and tried to ask whether or not you can get in, it's usually fenced off. It's impossible to access these places. It's kind of like, who's this weird guy who wants to drive hundreds of miles to see this thing that no one ever asks to visit ever? So when we started doing more tours, uh, people started to get in touch saying, this is a great idea, how do I join up? Uh, and so now we've got a couple groups all over. So we have a chapter in London, a chapter in New York, and a chapter in LA. Cities, they're incredibly dense places. And in your everyday life, you actually only end up seeing a tiny, tiny percentage of it. Turning on the light bulb, driving across a bridge, biking to work. There's a whole team of people that make sure it works every single time you do that action. It's just very enjoyable to appreciate the world around you when you have the opportunity to do so. You know, I'm always really excited by the fact that when people start doing the tours, they may come because it's really fun to go visit. But once you're there, you start thinking about like, well, this is such a great resource. Why isn't more investment going into it, right? Or why is it broken in this way? Or why does it have all these problems? And so I think it's really important that people kind of learn about the state of infrastructure and, and hopefully get motivated to do something about it. We live in a culture which is very, you know, move fast and iterate, um, particularly here in San Francisco in the tech industry. But you can't just hack a bridge. You can't just like throw something up and then see what happens and then debug it later, right? Like when a bridge goes into place, it's, it's pretty much got to work. If it doesn't, you know, really bad things could happen. And so I think some people are really fascinated by that idea, right? Like that the idea that we're building stuff that will last for hundreds of years. Please check out this next video. You can see the neon lights, the 40-story tall casinos, and then right beneath that is this dark and gray world where people are just trying to survive. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Secret Stories.